Hey what's up guys, it's the Ghost Hacker here and I am back for another Visual Studio tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download a string from Dropbox I'm going to be using but you don't have to use Dropbox, you can use a web host or something like that, you know, an online source pretty much. So this is very easy to do, it's not hard at all and it can be used for many 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 different things. You can use it for an auto updater or anything really, you'll understand once I show you. So we're going to hop in here and create ourselves a new project. I'm not going to bother naming it. And for this example, we're going to need a button. And I'm going to use a label, but like I said, you can use anything you want. Oop, what the heck did I even type there? I don't even know. Alright, put that there. Move that button there. Whatever, it don't really matter. There. Okay, we're going to rename our button text, and I'm going to name it load text. There we go. So we're going to double click our button here. And the first thing we need to do is import system.nap. There we go. Now, right below our public class form one, we are going to do dim wc or whatever you want as web client actually as new web client make sure you put the new in there so it'll just crash your program and in our button one we are going to do label one dot text equals wc dot download string okay down here Download string and we're going to do brackets and quotes. Now, like I said, you're going to need some sort of online host or Dropbox or something like that. I would, I would recommend you use Dropbox. It's easy, it's free, and why not? Okay, so we're going to open our Dropbox folder here. Here we are. And we're going to right click on our folder wherever and create a new text file or text document, whatever. And name it whatever you want. Well, I'll name it text. And in here, we are going to have to put whatever we want our text to be. So we're going to do... That works. Now, Control S to save it, or just go to File and Save. Make sure you do that, or else it will not work. And in here, we are going to... Actually, I messed it up. We have to copy a link. So I click on a file. And if you have Dropbox installed, that's how you do it. If you don't, you actually have to go to dropbox.com and do it. Um, I'm sure you can figure that out. So we're going to double uh, right click on a file and we're going to click share Dropbox link. There we go. It copied it for us. Now if we go here and paste in our link. Okay, so we're good to go. But there's one thing you have to change. If you don't change this, it will not work. With Dropbox, you need to go to the very end of the link and see that zero right here you need to change that to a one make sure you do that that screwed me up for for a very long time but other than that you're good to go now that's all you have to do so we're going to start a program here and if we click our button wait for it to load there we go we got our text now if we change it um oops now control S again to save it, make sure you save it. Go back to our program, click the button. It works, look at that. Now that is very helpful. That could be used for so many things. You can use it for an auto updater, like I said, or you can make it so whenever you open your form, you can have different text or you could change it up here. Or whatever you want really, you can have a part where you got some info and you can change it every day, whatever. So that could be very helpful for a lot of different things and um, yeah, hopefully that helped you out. If it did, please leave me a like. And until next time, guys, hope you guys have a great day, and bye-bye.